Good morning, and welcome to the Unraid October Digest. I'm your host, Stefano Partita. Let's go ahead and get started. I need some more coffee. Spooktober has come to an end, and with the end, we have the release of Unraid 7.2.0 Stable, which has been pretty big news for a long time coming. As a lot of you are already aware, this release brings us the fully responsive web UI for mobile phones, desktops, and tablets. We have the ability to add drives one by one to our Raid Z pools. We have native support for NTFS, XFAT, and EXT2, 3, and 4. There's the built-in Unraid API. We now have OIDC support. There's now performance and efficiency core detection on 12th gen and 13th gen CPUs for Intel and half a dozen other enhancements. Now, before you run off and install Unraid 7.2, there are some things that you should know specifically with some known bugs and issues. Any plugins like the theme engine, dark theme, dynamics, date, time, Flash remount plugins are incompatible and will automatically be uninstalled, as will the outdated versions of Unraid Connect. So definitely keep that in mind before you go run off and install 7.2. Also make sure you update all your existing plugins, especially Unraid Connect and NVIDIA driver, and there could also be some visual bugs or web UI issues after the update that will hopefully get resolved as developers also work with Unraid 7.2 to improve whatever plugins they've added to the Unraid dashboards or any of the other pages that exist. In this video, we're not gonna deep dive every single detail that has been released with Unraid 7.2. There is a fantastic YouTube video that already exists that will introduce you to all of the changes and other features that are now offered in Unraid 7.2, and I would highly recommend checking that out. However, that doesn't mean there aren't some things that I still like to mention to you that I think might be important. For instance, when upgrading your ZFS pool, once the upgrade is complete, this will limit your downgrade path to 7.1 only, which might be okay. However, any release like 7.0 or later will not work. So definitely be careful if you plan or have issues and need to actually downgrade after going to 7.2 if you are one of those ZFS users. Keep that in mind as you may have to rely on community support to get through any bugs or anything you may notice should the upgrade fail for you. 7.2 fixes a glibc bug that could potentially lead to data loss with ZFS, which is a great news for all of your ZFS users out there. I would be very upset if had I lost any data, but thankfully with this upgrade, that should be mitigated now. Custom Docker IPv6 networks now support unique local addresses or ULA, in addition to global unicast addresses. I have no idea what any of that is, but I'm sure for the two of you out there, you're very excited about these changes. Speaking of two of you out there, the seven of you out there that are running one terabyte of RAM, now the Unraid dashboard will show or report that storage correctly. It will also do this in human readable formats, which is a nice change as well. And speaking of the dashboard, performance cores and efficiency cores are now differentiated on the dashboard page, which is a nice addition in my opinion. The Go script will no longer execute when booting into safe mode. This probably was causing a very small number of you some issues and that has been rectified. So that is a nice change with 7.2 as well. And of course, one of the last changes that I wanna talk about that I think makes Unraid even more flexible is the added support for EMMC, as well as SD and SDIO support. So that's gonna be huge, making Unraid that much more flexible for anyone out there that's looking to use uh, those different types of storage devices with your builds moving forward. There are two low key additions that came out in October. The first being that the Unraid API is now on the Unraid Docs website and you can check out tons and tons of information about that if you are looking to get more knowledge there. Also, there is now a roadmap available on the Unraid Docs website as well. 
In other big news, the annual Cyber Weekend sale is going to happen starting November 28th, so keep your eyes peeled and on the lookout for more details as that comes. But what you can expect are some starter and unleashed licenses as well as upgrade discounts. There will be some special edition merch as well as discounts on other merch in the Unraid shop. Speaking of the Unraid merch store, we also have a new edition, the Dark Mode Pack, which is a minimalist black backpack that blends style and utility Designed for everyday carry, it features a spacious main compartment with dedicated 15-inch laptop sleeve, a front zippered pocket, and a hidden back pocket for all of your valuables. And I think that wraps up the show. Don't forget to check out some of the Unraid community content from around the web, as there are some very interesting videos and content that is out there. And if you like what you have seen here, don't forget to like and subscribe so we know that you enjoy videos like this. And thank you all for joining us, and good morning? It sounds different when you say good morning instead of good night. Bye!